friends, Francesco Camelli here in Los Angeles, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about packing your dry suit to go diving. Um, a lot of people favor the single bag approach to go diving, but on a dive boat, particularly if space is a little bit tight, you don't want to be that diver that starts encroaching on everybody else's space. So I find that the best way to go about this is to split your gear into two halves. Uh, I have this nifty little number here, which is a little cloth and mesh uh, bag. And in here, I will put my fins, my masks, all my pocket content. Uh, and that fits rather neatly, typically underneath my seat on the boat. Um, my single tank, doubles, rebreather, whatever I'm diving will be assembled for the day's diving and I will carry it onto the boat from the car on my back and put it directly where I'm going to be diving from in my dive station. And so that leaves the dry suit and undergarments. And, and I like to keep these separate because actually if the boat's big enough, I can always go and set myself up inside the cabin of the boat and I can get changed where it's warm and dry and I don't have to worry about being in the elements. Uh, not always possible, but nice when it is. Uh, so to that end, um, I have this little bag which actually came with my dry suit and it's kind of your typical duffel bag size. And um, I just like to go over how I pack this. Um, and it's something that I've arrived at through some trial and error, I suppose. Uh, I guess there are many, many ways of doing this, but this is how I do it. And I find that it works pretty well. So starting with the dry suit, what I'm gonna to want to do is to start folding at the feet and create two folds so that the leg ends up in line with the crotch. And then I do the same with the second leg, like so. And now I can take the torso and fold it over the legs. And then I can place the neck seal nice and flat over the top. And uh, the reason I like to do this is because I have a ring system. So I want to make sure I minimize the possibility of me accidentally dislodging the ring system, uh, potentially causing uh, a suit flood while I'm diving if I forget to check it before I go diving. Okay, and then I will take the arms and simply fold them over the top like that. And like that, again, making sure that the arm dump valve doesn't poke into the, uh, into the neck seal at all. And so that gives me a rather neat little dry suit package, if you like, uh, which I can then very, very easily slip into my duffel, like so. And what that does is it actually leaves quite a bit of room in this bag for other bits and pieces. And because this is a dry bag, I can now put my undergarments in here and keep them dry as well. So I put them in in reverse order to what I would normally don them. So in this case, uh, for tomorrow's dives, I'm gonna be using a, an Arctic two-piece expedition with some socks. So that would go in first. And the bottoms. And then just a thin little base layer with a, with a thin little base sock um, I would put on top. Zip this up. And now I have my dry suit ready to go. And my bag with my dive gear. And that's all I take on the boat with me as well as my actual rig. So don't forget to check out some of the other tips and tricks on our YouTube channel, or you can go to GUE TV and uh, have a look at uh, some of the other tips and tricks on there by some of the other instructors. Two bags, two small bags, convenient, easy, and always respectful of other divers on dive boats. Hope to see you diving soon. Take care.